Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode of Got One from Dixie Brewing, Dice. Now, I think they recently changed their name or they... Yeah, well, out. they're in the process of changing their name so, to Frambois. I don't really speak We don't French. know if they're going to be making this same, if they're going to change the names of all the beers or what. So, well, I think they may change this one because it was Dixie Ice Beer. So it was one. Dice, but okay. it was an ice brewed beer. Ice brew beer. What the hell is that? Well, you know, like Ice House and Bud mm. Ice and all that. You okay. know. Uh, and I got Fair a chance. You can brew it in ice. I got a chance to get some of them before they were changing the name and everything. And all the Dixie beers that I've had, like one of Dixie's beers was one of my favorites. It was the uh, Black and Voodoo. Or Voodoo. All right. Um, yeah. I love that beer. So whoever bought it, don't change the beers. Yeah, I mean, you're changing the name, whatever. Um, but keep bringing this beer, all right? Make the beer, that's what we want. This is five nine, so it's kind of like the nine. you know, the normal ice beers. I'll take that, you know, smells a little sweet, maybe got a little corn in there. Mm, it does smell like a corn beer. Well, I hope they rename it, because it tastes good. Hmm. It's got a little boozy taste. Um, it tastes like a banquet beer, kind of. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, strong. A bit like you can kind of feel it in your lips. It almost tastes yeah. like... Like, it's not quite a malt liquor, but... No. It ain't quite that sweet, but it's... No. It's like towing right up on the mm -hmm. line there. Yeah. I bought it. I got it in a four-pack. Uh, they had they had singles, but I saw a four-pack, and the four-pack wasn't that bad. And it's the pint, and I was like, that's cool. Definitely. Um, I dig it. I mean, it's a... It's a good beer. I've had, I there's been a couple beers lately that I've seen that have been craft malt liquors. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, We're going to do one of those for you. I've, I've done one. This one technically doesn't say it's a malt liquor, uh, but it's an ice brewed beer. And so I guess in this one, we're going to ask you to tell us what is your favorite ice, yeah. ice brew, mm -hmm. ice house. Yeah. What, 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 Bud, ice. Bud Ice. Bud Ice. All those different like? ices. Let us know. Discuss it. Argue about it. Or is there some that you would like uh, us to review? And while you're down there, smash that like button. Mm -hmm. Tell us, guy, what you think about this video. And be sure and hit the bell so you can see more of this content. Yeah. I think he even has a merch store. I do. That'll so. be down there in the description. I'll put some stuff that I can find about this down in the description. Uh, you'll also find the uh, social media things. Um, so you hit that little arrow, description pops up, and it just lights up blue. Yeah. Now this this one though, it's it's a real easy drinking. I mean, you can tell the alcohol content. Yeah. But it doesn't drink harshly. Not really. I mean, there's like no hoppy aftertaste. No, or... nothing like that. There's no aftertaste at all. There's no bitter to it at all. Mm -mm. Um, very smooth, but it, at the same time, it's very full. Yeah. Um, it doesn't taste like a light beer at all. No. Um. So, I mean, yeah. overall, what I would consider this beer would be a craft alternative convenience store beer. Okay. You know, that, that beer, whenever you just want one big one at the convenience store, well, this one's a craft beer. But that you don't want to pay that. like four or five bucks for one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought the price was good. So, yeah. It right. wasn't. It wasn't four or five bucks, was it? Uh -uh. Well, I mean, I paid. I think like six dollars for a four pack. Oh, for four. yeah, for four. Yeah, like that's pints too. Like that was cool. So, I mean, I was happy with it. I'm glad. I got three more. I'll drink them. Um, well, let's get down to it. I mean, it's a simple beer. I don't feel like they messed it up. I hope when they change the names and everything, they they. At least keep this keep formula. Keep the actual formula. I think that'll be dope. Please. Yeah. Did you dig it? Yes, I did. Would you have another? I will. 
Because you have three more. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put those other three in the fridge. I'll be gone next would, day or two. I would ask, would you seek it out? But like we said, they're going to change yeah, the I'm not going to know what so. it is. You know, I'm still seeing a few little things that still say Dixie, but I'm also seeing the newer name at a few places that I go to. I just don't know how to pronounce it. This is right. kind of a let's hurry up and do this before it's gone kind of deal. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, I mean, if you get to find it, or if that was something, I also wanted this one to be that, oh, man, I, I missed that beer and watch the video or something. Right. I don't know. But, you know, on a 1 to 10 scale, um, it's better than average. Hmm. Is it now? <laughs> but it's not amazing. Yeah, I'm. I'm a landing six. at a six. <laughs> I really am. Uh, it's not got all the oomph, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really completely disappoint. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a solid beer. Um, you may enjoy it a little bit more than we do. It's kind of heavy, so I don't know if I just keep pounding this stuff, but, um, hey, if it gets the job done. <laughs> I mean, it lawnmower beer, a heartbeat. Okay. But, you know, I, it's, it's, it's nothing compared to the, the, the voodoo. It's refreshing. Yeah. But that's my favorite beer they make. So, yeah, whatever. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. <laughs>